All right. Kamal's Druidic Vow, Blue Green Vow, pays homage to this card in its name. Look at the top X cards of your deck. You put a number of land and or legendary permanent cards with X or less onto the battlefield. So basically the idea is that you can flip a good portion of your deck into play and then use Jace to eventually win the game. Um, one thing I always like to point out when we play a deck like this is that some of the decks we play on this stream have a very, we're very like competitively focused. We're like trying to like make them as optimal as possible. A deck like this is less so in that aspect. We're just like trying to do our thing and cast Kamal's Druidic Vow for a very significant X number at some point just to do something sweet. But yeah, this deck, deck's got a lot of legendaries in it. Hopefully we'll get to cast this for big X's and do, do sweet things. So let's give it, let's give it a try here. I'm playing this list all morning. It feels great. Sweet. Yeah, Kevin is just a 4-5 four, uh, four, for 4. He theoretically triggers Vow and... There's a couple of things he technically triggers, but mostly mostly just a 4-5 for 4. Remember, chat, the key to not being disappointed in life is having low expectations. So if I don't expect to win a lot going in, if we win at all, we'll be happy. Mobilize the district. If we would have hit a green source there, we would have gotten to play Grazer and then have Nissa for the following turn, which would have been sweet. Can we all just appreciate Hinterlands Harbor here for a moment? I feel I feel like we really need to work Hinterlands Harbor self-esteem back up since it's like finally available in foil. Feels like feels like we spent a lot of time dumping on Hinterland Harbor, so it's only it's only fair at this point that I that I sing its praises. Hinty's so pretty. Such a pretty district. They foiled, they finally foiled our boy Hinterland Harbor. They really do care, chat. They really do care. It was, it, the ugly duckly fi duckling has finally blossomed, chat. You no longer have to play blue green decks in shame. Ugly, ugly shame. Hey, what's going on? Sam, life is swell. I'm hoping it's supposed to storm tomorrow. So we were theoretically supposed to go to like a family cookout tomorrow evening at my grandparents. But if it's going to be storming, that's not going to happen. Poor Vow. We will not fail. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that the uh, the basic land selector means that we're going to get foil basic soon. That would be ideal. It would be ideal. Yeah, yeah, so this has three 1-1 one, one counters on it. So if I activate it, its base power and toughness becomes a 3-3 three, three, and it'll still have three 1-1 one, one counters on it. Oh, that's a good catch. If I would have left Forest up, this would have been two mana. And because I have this and Nyssa, I could have dealt, I could have dealt extra there. It's a good catch.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to cast this for seven. Hey, the Kingly Commander coming in hot with the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Wisdom teeth out. Rough. Been, been there, done that. Well, it's good to have you here. Thanks for the prime. Hope you have uh, hope you have a good recovery this weekend. I still can't feel my tug or my lips. Yep, sounds about right. Six wisdom teeth. You are so wise. You're so wise. Yeah, if they, if they take a turn here, I'm going to concede. So for those not familiar with the opponent's deck, it's kind of fallen out of favor, thankfully. Um, with their Search for Escant and Wilderness Reclamation, we're very likely to not get another turn. My opponent's just going to keep finding the card Nexus of Fate and casting it again and again and again. Which is not a, not a good scene for our hero. Maybe I want Harpooner just as like a 3-2 that attacks. That's probably marginally better than Jace Cutting Castaway, huh? Poor sexy Jace. Okie doke, let's do it. Look at our look at our incredibly aggressive start here, chat. Fibble fip on two into thrashing Bronzadon on three. Give him. Give him a one-two punch like only Simic can give. This hand's beautiful, that's for sure. Hmm. All right, Nissa means change of plans. Nissa, Nissa means there's been a change of plans, chat. You gonna shake our world, Nissa? Shake my world, baby. Oh, they're stumbling. I smell blood, chat. We have a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Is there a sideboard guy? There is not. Yay! If this weekend goes all right, I might I might write about the aristocrats deck for cool stuffing next week, but we'll see. How much money do I have to throw at you to get a sideboard guide? Fifty. Usually I do sideboard guides for twenty-five, dude. Light. Which reminds me, I'm going to get, I have a green black citadel guide I need to write that's getting done this weekend. They finally foiled our boy Hinterland Harbor. He's not, he's not an uggo anymore. He's a real card.
Vow is one of those cards that seems mostly win more because we're usually winning if we have Nyssa out. I agree with that assessment. What's your process for figuring out sideboard guides? Well, I make a list of the bad cards and then I tell people to cut the ones that are bad and then I suggest they bring in the ones that are good. It's a really complicated process. Dude Light coming in hot with the sub gifties. Welcome to our new members of Hoaglandia. Enjoy the gift of speech. Can you repeat that slower? I read it down. Sounds good, dude. I would like to mobilize my district. To me! To me, district! Kill the Nosset. I shall miss your company. Details on a pop into the subs discord are here. A K9GM, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Really could use something legendary. Hey, look, it's an unbeatable planeswalker. I know I noted this. Yikes. All right, all right. So you're saying. So you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 That was that was a very good turn. And all all things considered, that was one of the better turns we could have had there. Next turn, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can bow for seven. For flip's sake. You kidding me? Um, I did the pink hair and beard as a sub goal donation drive earlier this year. Come on. All right. All right. Take two. Take two. Take two. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on, folks. We're going to do it again. Someone asked what it would take to see me play Momir. I just don't have any interest in playing Momir. And like, there's so many standard decks in my deck queue that like, I literally just can't get through all of them as, quick, as quickly as I would like. So if I'm, if I'm streaming Arena, it's gonna be working through the deck queue. Submissions, deck submissions have scaled down a little bit, but I've also dialed back my hours a touch too to something more more maintainable. 60. Stre streaming 55 hours a week is not maintainable in the long term.
Correct, yeah. Yeah, if I'm if I'm live 55 hours in a week, that means I work 80 hours that week. Which is the the big part of the not sustainable. I think we're about to die. Stupid sexy Jace. This is my tutu. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Let's go ahead and trade this off. Mm, snack time. Have we won any games? Yeah, our Nexus opponent stumbled and conceded in one of the games that we played. I think I, I think I named Nissa here, right? You would make an excellent informant for my I don't really like the stained glass planeswalkers. I prefer I prefer the full arts. I could have cast Nissa's Triumph, but then I don't have my O3 in play to block. I think I'd rather block. No, I think three Living Twister in the main is great. I think that card's good in a lot of places. All right, looking for Anissa. Shake my world, baby. Yikes. Just trying to get my world shook over here. Alright, Jace lived. We get to cast this and be be incredibly disappointed. Wild animals I like. The wilds are my shield. This is the card my deck is named after, so when we cast it we should win, right? It's a it's a nine mana spell that my deck is named after. So this should be game winning. Oh yeah. Look at that. Never, never. Wow, Marty was going to gift five subs. I'm so unlucky. I'm so unlucky. Whoa, that's a druidic vow. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mm. You know what? Maybe I'm supposed to make this a 6-6. Six, six. Maybe, maybe we get to Vow again next turn. Are we dead on board? How are we dead on board? I have a, I have a 4-5 and a 3-3. Three, three. We get to shoot this. I get to block here. I'm taking... No, I'm nowhere near dead on board. I've seen things that would break someone like you.
All right, what do these attacks look like? That's it? That's all we attacked with? Oh, uh ho, we're halfway there. Uh ho, living on a prayer. Do do do. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. All right, let's do it and do it and do it and do it again. Do 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 do. All right, this is two. Um, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So X is gonna be 16 on this bad boy. Drawing that's actually really bad for us. I guess I'm probably gonna hit enough lands to cast it. Was it good to tuck the god to guarantee he comes back? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I wanted to get him back again. right we did it we did it we did it all right Whew. Whew. opponent did not have enough respect for our crappy planeswalkers opponent opponent did not have enough respect for our crappy planeswalkers okay, had limped limped across the finish line there but we we did it god god bless you little fibble thip God bless you, little Fibble Thip. Chase is a dangerous boy. Hey, Nickazamel. Thank you for the brand new Prime Sport. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. There's a Balaka Worm matchup. Probably not. All right. I'm going to click submit. We did the thing. We cast a giant vow and we won the game. It's just it's just like we drew it up. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to get another win because my opponent doesn't know to not kill Jace. Help, help, I'm under duress. Let's draw an island and then draw a druidic vow. I guess I should play this so I don't get to rest again. It's 
standard staple Tatiova here in hand for us. You need escape shift. Ah, move things around now, you see. Oh no. It's a big angry dino chat. This is two standards ago, right? Carnage Tyrant, who are you? Oh, we'll make it, I swear. Oh, -ho, living on a prayer. Do, 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 do. Hit me, dealer! Hit me, dealer! Papi! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Courageous squid, thank you for the 3 month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. So that's four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to cast Jace without tapping one of my 3-3s. Three and I'd much rather have 3-3s three up than a 2-2. Two two. So, regardless of what I did there, I couldn't have two untapped 3-3s three and Jace. So, I think it's right to do what I did. All right, dead to double doom blade here. Wow, they have double doom blade. Holy crap. Wow, and we're on no, there's no more basics. There's no more basics, chat. We got we have to draw um growth spiral. If we draw growth spiral, rats. Rats. We could have drawn growth spiral. That's so unfortunate. So if I wouldn't have if I wouldn't have shocked if I wouldn't have shocked in both of these, we'd have been okay. We were so close. We were so close. I think I was right to shock there. I don't know though, because like I couldn't, I couldn't know what we were gonna draw. Anything about Melanti in the sideboard instead of Plockworm? It's a big legendary threat. It doesn't do the same thing as Plockworm Sunshine. The point of Plockworm is that it gains you a bunch of life against the aggro deck, so you maybe have a chance there. Well, the whole point of the Plockworm is the gain seven. Only, only ten basics got double disaster trophy. Didn't have them. I think I think shocking was correct there. I can't know that I'm gonna draw just all the bricks, right? And like I was I'm I'm genuinely surprised they had double trophy there. Because like I thought they would have for sure trophied my legendary thing the turn before, right? Seemed like a weird sequence. 
Yeah, the worm doesn't come into play off the vow, but if you're vowing, you're probably winning anyways. Green source. All right, better than bricking, I guess. In my no, a, fi a five mana three three isn't very good against Agro Sunshine, and like gaining one life really slowly isn't very good either. Sad, sad. No, Thunderwunk. The condition for casting a legendary sorcery is that to put it on the stack, you have to have the card. Well, if your legend goes away afterwards, nothing changes. Gosh, we were so close. We were so close that second game. I'm a little, I'm a little salty, chat. I'm a little salty. We were so close to winning. Been a while since we owed you. All right, let's play. Let's play an unranked one. See if we can get on the scoreboard one more time. Too much dog. Thank you for the four months. I welcome back. And Dowardy, I might have missed you. Thank you for the eleven. Hope y'all are having great starts your weekend, everyone out there. So dropping in here today. Had a great audience all day. Remember, if you're new and enjoying the content, I'm here five days a week, pretty much uh, eight a.m. till about three or four p.m. in the afternoon, Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. See, it's great. Uh, this is not the last deck of the day, but it's probably gonna be the last, the last match with this deck. I mean, this is a build with a bunch of Planeswalkers, K9. No, if you shock, you get the option to pay two off of Grazer, but it comes into play tapped regardless. Uh, I think if you really love playing flash deck, Sultai Flash is like good enough, but it's not something I'd recommend if your only goal is playing to win. So I just play Narset now? I think I just play Narset now. That runs into Spell Pierce. They've already played one Pierce. I will not give up. My is yeah, the last two decks we're going to play today, Rob, uh, Pirate, are the two decks I'm considering for tomorrow. That's, that's the problem with playing the unranked queue. All right, let's try, let's try one more. No, there's a Mythic Championship qualifier this weekend on Magic Arena that I'm qualified for. You have to go 8-8-0 or 8-1 on the first day and then 5-1 or 5-0 on the second day. I mean, opponent conceded because they're playing what is certainly one of the better decks in the format. They probably just didn't want to spend their time playing against an off-meta deck for no prizes. I 
I mean, some people are just looking to, like, play meaningful games of Magic, right? Like, if you're only looking to play against certain archetypes, it almost, it makes more sense to play the unranked queue where you could just concede when you play against people who aren't playing the archetypes you care about. Like, if you're in an event or on the ladder and you queue into someone playing something that you just don't want to play against or, like, isn't worth, it isn't something you want to test against, you lose stuff when you concede to them. Nice, dude. We got, we've got a sloth. I don't, I don't know how my deck full of X mana sorceries ever beats a deck with a bunch of spell pierce and wizard retorts, but we'll see. I think Esper Walkers is as competitive as just I do not, Thunderwunk. I think if you're looking from a purely play-to-win standpoint, uh, the closing power of Sarkin is just unparalleled. I think that, that being able to really pivot quickly is very powerful. Yeah, they could be like Blue Tempo Splash Tefri. I'm a big fan of the build with Sahili and Karn in it. Again, because Sahili and Karn provide immense amounts of closing power. Look at this, look at this incredibly castable Magic the Gathering card. Yeah, playing, playing Vow inside of a deck that's just like a bunch of good legendary cards is probably the better place to be. Uh, I have no idea what the details of that deck look like, Tony. That's not something I've seen played or played with. I'm, uh, I'm gonna move along from this one. I want to spend a couple hours on each of these last two decks, and we got we got to do our thing at least once. Um, this deck is neither interactive enough to keep up with the aggressive decks, or linear enough to race them, and any amount of stiff breeze in the form of interaction just kind of blows us right on over. We got to do our thing at least once against a really clunky green-black mid-range deck, so... We at least got to win one game. So it's like, it's neat when it works, but uh, to remind us of quote, I think it's quote one. No, it's quote one. Lots of sweet things are bad. The first the first quote is is very, very applicable here. All right, let's, uh, let's mosey on along to some aristocrats, shall we?